What's going on everybody? It's Ross from Whip Finish Fly Company here. Today we've got an unboxing video for you and we got a big one. Now that I got you here, and if you enjoy this kind of content, please give the channel a subscribe, give the video a like, and leave a comment. These are things that don't cost you any money that really help us out uh, getting our content to more people. So this box came in from NRS. Can't wait to get it opened up and show you what we got. All right, well, first thing I notice is that NRS is using uh, their old boxes from the warehouse to ship out uh, gear in. And I mean, that's just awesome. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Um, so what we've got in here uh, is just some basic safety gear. Um, I am excited to check out the Raku uh, PFDs. So I did get two of those and let's see what else. Okay, first thing out of the box is the NRS Pilot Knife. Great knife for any boating and rescue. You know, you always need a blade with you, whether you need to cut anchor line or, or really in any any uh, rescue uh, scenario. It's got, uh, it's a stainless steel design, so it's really solid. It clips in and, and it you know, won't pop off. It actually does latch to your life preserver as well. Uh, it does come in uh, titanium if you're doing salt water applications. Um, it does have a blunt tip for um, just to protect and save yourself from accidental punctures of your raft. It's got the glass breaker on the butt end here um, as well as the, the grip. And uh, yeah, so this is a must for sure. Next item on the list is the Scotty fly rod holder. I did get a couple of these. Uh, the NRS, the Slipstream uh, package does come with a few. Um, it comes with a two rod holder uh, that runs down the side of the raft. We always uh, are usually carrying a few more than two rods. And some of the you know issues we've ran into the past is just leaving rods kind of running down the side of the boat. We've got the dog. Um, and just really, uh, yeah, I need to protect those rods from breaking. And I feel like these would keep them out of the boat off to the side. And then I do have an attachment for this, which I'll show you in a minute. I do also like to carry, uh, my spay rod out and those things range from, you know, 11 to 13 and a half feet. So, uh, hopefully these should work pretty well for that. I did get a few or rights. I know these can be a little, if, I've heard that these are a little controversial, but uh, we're kind of just getting started uh, rowing. So I think these are gonna be great um, as well, even as a safety uh, measure um, and really just to keep your oars in the right position, whether these things are, are further up um, on the grip. So when you, you know, when you let go after anchoring, these are actually gonna slide down and lock uh, the oar in the correct position that I want it with the boat. So I got a few of these. Just a couple uh, whistles, classic whistles to attach to the PFDs. Um, need those. All right, so these are what I'm really excited about. These are the NRS clamp it rod holder attachments. Um, so these are gonna go with the Scotty fly rod holders. And what I'm trying to do is attach is something that'll attach to uh, the frame and allow it to spin 360. And these are supposed to do that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need something. I think I can take this piece off or this can go here. Anyway, so let's open it and see. So yeah, what I'm trying to do is get something that I can have the rods in this, keep them out of the way, but also spin 360. Um, 360 degrees, so I can really point them in any direction. Um, right, so this piece clamps to the frame of the raft. And let's 
let's see. I'm not sure how this even works. Um, this will come off. I believe so. This piece will go together like so. Okay, I believe this probably goes in like that. And then this goes in here. Okay. So yeah, we can attach this to the frame of the raft. And then this uh, obviously will hold the fly rod. And for one thing, you can adjust the angle this way. The thing I liked about the clamp it rod mount is that also you can then use this bottom, I believe push it up and then this thing rotates 360 degrees around there. So really any position uh, that you need to have the rods hanging out of the back of the boat, um, we're good to go with that thing. So sweet design. Thank you NRS. Okay, next item from NRS is a just a stripping basket. Got this for the angler in the front. This is gonna kind of clips on um, in front of the lean bar and uh, you can strip in here. Again, we do have a crazy poodle uh, who we're planning on having in the raft with us quite a bit. This is just nice, keeps all of your extra fly line off the bottom of the boat, out of your feet and um, it's going to make life quite a bit easier. Sweet. So this is the Raku PFD from NRS. I got two in a large. Uh, when you're ordering these, the biggest difference is going to be the strap length. So if you go with a bigger size, um, the, the straps are going to be a little bit longer and give you more room. The physical um, size of these are going to be the same. And yeah, this is sweet. Uh, the big difference between the Raku and the Chinook is the back. The Chinooks have the flotation up towards the top. The Rakus have it all the way down. I think that these will just be more comfortable on the water. We'll see. They look super nice, super comfy. Um, this is the size large XL in orange so yeah we also have some pockets on the front uh, to keep really anything you're looking to keep in here um, fly boxes tippets what have you uh, the important thing with the pfd is that you want uh, you want it to be comfortable you want to wear it if you have a, a pfd that's that's not comfortable you don't like wearing it what's the point of having it so yeah really excited to check these out and get these on the water Okay, and this is the Raku in charcoal. Okay, same thing, pretty sweet. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try this bad bear on and see how it fits. So when you are um, picking your size uh, for these uh, PFDs, again, it is, goes off of your weight and also your chest size. Um, the large XL and the XL XXL are for anybody over 90 pounds. Um, and then the, really the large XL to the larger size depends on your, um, your chest size all the way around. Um, the extra small medium vest is anyone from 88 pounds to 132 pounds. With these PFDs, you want to make sure you loosen the straps up first before you try to put it on. Again, you want these things to be comfortable. You want to wear them. If they're not comfortable, chances are you're not going to wear them. Yeah, I mean, this thing's super comfortable. I really like how this design has 
Um, taking the flotation and distributing it all the way across the back. I'm gonna get this on here for you. This is the NRS pilot knife. We need to get it onto the Roku's latch tab here. Um, yeah, bottle opener, sweet. So you have to take the knife out first. And yeah, we need to somehow get this onto here. So if you put the like a butter knife or something in to the lashing lash tab first, and then the um, the back of the sheath will kind of get forced down into the correct spot. I believe once you get it started, you can pop the butter knife out. Just keep working it in. And then you want to make sure that the end of the sheet, there's like a little lip to keep that locked in on this tab. Um, and then it won't reverse out the other way. So if you're trying to do this, go ahead and get yourself a butter knife. And that'll work just great for you. Well, we appreciate you making it this far. Again, I am Ross from Whip Finish Fly Company here. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please throw a like on it, leave us a comment. Uh, let us know what kind of gear you're using. If you have anything in your mind that, that we can use, um, let us know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, if you like it, again, subscribe, throw a notification bell on. Um, all that stuff is free for you to do and it just helps our channel here grow. We're gonna have the boat unboxing and the build on that. I also do have to do some modifications to my current boat trailer uh, just to extend it out a little bit and all that we're gonna keep on camera and bring to you uh, for your entertainment. Thank you very much. We'll see you out on the water. Mm -hmm.